Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show Express on SABC3. Luke Bax, still in the hot seat. Clearly, you've been very interested in our conversation about uh, scorpions this morning, and we love it very much. In fact, uh, a comment coming in here on our Facebook page saying, I'm staying in a flat in Boyfoot West and saw a scorpion crawling down the steps on the ground floor. Can scorpions crawl up walls? Ugh. Ever since that night, I'm extremely paranoid. Is there only uh, venomous scorpions in the Karoo? And is there some remedy I can use uh, to keep it from entering my flat on the floor? Um, so, no, scorpions can't crawl, they can crawl up a small distance if the wall is very, I want to say, if this, the wall is quite grippy, so like yes. a brick wall, they can crawl up that because they've got that grip. But anything, any smooth flat wall, I mean, they can't even get out of this. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Because they've got no grip. Um, no, they are not only venomous scorpions in the crew, the venomous scorpions are throughout South Africa. I'm mm -hmm. so, sorry, sorry to burst the bubble. Yeah. But, um, and keeping scorpions out is kind of like keeping anything else out. Unless, unless you're gonna completely block up your house, all the gaps in your walls and the gaps in the doors, then unfortunately they can possibly get in. But yeah. it's, they're, not, they're not looking to hurt you, they're looking to possibly get out from the, the sun or they're just trying to find a cool place to cool down a bit. All right, let's quickly take a call on the line right now. Nita, good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for your call. What is your question? Um, man, uh, I haven't got a question. I, just to, to tell you an experience I had with a scorpion in yes. Malawi. We were on a tour down to Malawi and um, a camp on Lake Malawi uh -huh. um, in tents. And we were bright in the evening and I sat around bright fire and I felt something crawling up my leg. Oh. Uh, not being able to see what it was, I just wiped it off and it bit me on my finger. Uh, within... Um, not even half an hour, my finger started going dead. It started and, going dead, numb. Mm. Yeah, numb. And um, then that evening at 10 o'clock, my, my arm started pain. It was my right arm. Wow. It, it was paining so badly that I couldn't stand up, and I've never in my life had pain like this. Now, we, 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 we're in a strange place. We don't know doctors, anything. Uh -huh. But um, us, a doctor came, uh, a holiday house we had there, just down the road, we could go there and see if he could help us. So we walked down there, and unfortunately, the doctor had already left off the week in oh holiday. Goodness. And we met two Malawians on the road and asked them uh, if they knew if there was anywhere where we could go. Yes. And they said there it was like a, um, a field hospital just a kilometer down the road. Now, walking down there, I, I thought I was going to pass out. I started getting nauseous. Oh um, we got to the hospital, and I said to this nurse, please, just help me. I, I've got such pain from this butt. Uh, we, I don't know what it is. I think it's a scorpion. So she took me straight into the doctor. He had a, a gentleman with him, and um, he, he just put him aside, and he, uh, uh, he, he saw to my finger. He said, immediately, go, let the nurse give you an injection. They gave me an injection, yeah. and um, they were so good, really, uh, this uh, doctor then uh, looked at me again and he said, in the moment you get back to South Africa, just go and see your doctor because this finger of yours is, go is oh, now going to be paralyzed. Word. And eventually um, he said to me, <laughs> I said, how much, how much do I owe you for this consultation? So he said, no, if any of your people have got malaria tablets, Please, just give it to us. We've got children here in Malawi wow. dying of malaria. Wow. And luckily, one of our ladies had 100 malaria tablets that we could give him. But I, I was so thankful that I found that doctor in Malawi. And all me. because you were stung by a scorpion. Wow, yeah. hey, the way that the world he, he works. He said it was a scorpion. It was oh, a mite box, but uh, uh, holes in my finger. Uh, it was a poisonous scorpion. Yeah. And um, when I got back to South Africa, it took about three months before my finger came back to life. But I'm, I'm glad it, it was a tale of survival. Thank you so much for sharing that with us, uh, Nita. So, so clearly, I mean, where, where there is help, there yeah. is a way. Don't panic too much. Try and be as calm as possible and try and get to the hospital. 100%. I mean, stuff. that is quite a common occurrence because um, yeah. scorpions do live in bark. And when people build the fires, obviously the, the wood uh, heats up and then the scorpion tries to get out. Mm -hmm. And then they go for the nearest piece of cover, which often ends up being someone's foot chilling on the side of the fire. Wow. So that is, that is a problem. So one of the things you can do is check, your, check the wood before you, um, 
put it on the fire. I mean, it's a bit of a mission to check every piece of wood, but right. or just create like a section around the fire where it's a little bit yeah. where you can see what's happening. Luke, thanks very much, man. We're going to keep encouraging you to just uh, keep questioning or uh, putting your questions down on Facebook, and perhaps Luke can give us an answer or two a little bit later on. But right now, to close down this Thursday edition of your Feel Good Breakfast Show, how about some music from Wandi Limbambeni?